feel like when my head goes back, it stems from my hands being high. Yeah, makes sense. A lot of my stuff is all set up. Alignment, posture, grip. And if I'm consistent in that, if I'm set up the right way, then I'm free to just go ahead and make a swing at it. A good hit. Ben is probably the most consistent person I've ever been around. I mean, his work ethic, it doesn't waver whether he's playing great or he's really struggling. It's been a lot of fun to see him grow from the web.com tour to a PGA Tour winner. Take the oh, yeah. yeah. man. Golf comes and goes. You have your peaks and valleys in the game. So if I prepare the way that I want to, then it's a lot easier to enjoy the tournament when you know that you've put in everything that you have to play your best. This is not the mindset of a 10-year veteran on the PGA Tour. It's Ben Martin, who plays with an old-school mentality, unlike many of the younger players today. I'm a conservative guy and not very flashy at all, but yeah, that's just my personality. I think you have to play to your personality. Ben is self-motivated. Success to him is doing the best at what you're given. And so I think that's what he does when he walks out on the course every day. After an All-America career at Clemson, the 2009 U.S. Amateur finalist earned his tour card in his first attempt with a runner-up performance at the 2010 PGA Tour qualifying tournament. It all did happen pretty fast. All I'd known was playing college golf and playing the mini tour, so I wasn't scared of losing anything uh, because I'd never had it before. However, Martin missed more cuts than he made as a rookie and lost his tour card. Part of the learning curve is getting out there and experiencing it and figuring out how you play your best. In 2012, Martin turned to Charles Frost to make a swing change. By his second season on the Web.com tour, he posted a career-high eight top 10 finishes, including two victories, which helped him in achieving his dream of getting back to the PGA Tour. What I've learned most from Charles is that there's no reason to make the game of golf tougher than it already is. When you get it more low and left, it's going to be easier to hit a draw because the base is going to play more close. Okay. Once he puts his mind to a goal, he's going to do everything in his power to achieve it. Earlier this season, Martin captured the ultimate prize, a victory in just his 56th start on tour at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. What a putt to close it out. Growing up playing golf since I was five years old, you always have that dream of winning on the PGA Tour, but you never know if it ever will happen. I was just excited more than anything for him. He works so hard. I just wish the best for him all the time. With all of the work Martin has put into his game, it's the time with his wife, Kelly, that keeps him sharp. <laughs> you race out there? You first of all got to figure out how to turn around. <laughs> One of the things I learned the more years I've been out on tour is just the importance of time away from the course. Get a little workout in. Just try not to fall over. To get out in the water, to just find anything to do to, to take your mind off of golf and uh, come back fresh just has been a key to, to me playing well in the past couple seasons. There's nothing more important than being able to get some quality time with Ben. Ready, go! My favorite part was definitely racing Ben. <laughs> he loves to turn anything into a competition. You can't cut me off. Don't try to be ramming me. Incoming. <laughs> Thanks to a balanced lifestyle and his old school approach to the game, Martin was able to connect it all at last week's Players' Championship with the top five finish in just his first appearance on the PGA Tour's greatest stage. Ben Martin to reach 12 under. Yes, he's got it. It was a good experience being in the hunt on Sunday in one of the best fields in the world. So uh, I won't take any, any negatives away, only positives. He's feeling like he has a sense of, I've earned this and I belong and I can compete with these guys. I would think he would be a multi-time winner and just be a successful 
PGA Tour player for 25 years. I want to be playing in the Tour Championship, finishing in the top 30 of the FedEx. I feel like I have a good track record of getting better every year, and if I can continue what I've always done, then I think that I could have a special career.